Hey, what's up? It's Ryan Oakley here from PhotographyOnTheSide.com and this is the free online course Create a Gorgeous Photography Website with SmugMug in 90 Minutes. In this step, we're going to sign up with SmugMug and upload our first gallery. So, when we get into SmugMug and start up our SmugMug account, we want to make sure we get into it uh, a certain way that makes sure that the 20% discount coupon code that I've got for you guys uh, can be applied to your new account. So probably the easiest way to do that is to open up a new tab in your favorite browser. I use uh, Google Chrome and type in photography on the side dot com forward slash smug mug. And when you do that, you'll be uh, redirected to the smug mug page and you'll start your smug mug account. And you can tell that the coupon code is being applied because it says coupon equals wedding gig. Um, and that means you'll get 20% off your first year, which is awesome. Uh, another way to do it is if you're on my blog already and on my blog post, uh, the Create a Gorgeous Photography website with SmugMug, uh, just go ahead and click one of these links here and, um, and the same uh, coupon code will be applied to your account. So either of those ways works. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is choose a design. and uh, I'm going to specifically have you choose a certain design that I want you guys to choose so that you can actually follow my tutorial. It can be re really fun to, to browse through these different options and, and check them all out. Um, but for this tutorial, we've got to kind of stick to the one that I choose. And then you can always come back later and, um, and pick a different design. But if you want to follow my tutorial and end up with a site that looks like this, then I recommend you just follow follow uh, the design that I choose and go from there. Okay, so if you scroll down a bit, you'll want to find the Ludwig design. It's right here. And go ahead and click the preview. And don't worry that it doesn't look like our final site. We're going to be customizing it and making it look like um, the one that we want. So go ahead and choose this design. It's going to ask us for uh, to create a site name and all that stuff. So, um, you know, normally we would use something like Ryan Oakley Photography, which is my site, or you know, whatever your name is, plus photography or plus photos, and that usually works for most people. Here, I've got a, a dummy site that I'm going to do. We'll do Clark, oops, Clark Kent Photography, and we'll do Clark Kent Photography smugmug.com and type in your email address and a password and then go ahead and click create okay so smugmug's asking us to um, either use some sample photos to populate the site or to upload some photos. I'd just go ahead and use the sample photos just to get us in the site and then we'll be um, uploading our own galleries and photos here in a second. Okay, so there's our sample site. Looks nothing like what we want yet, but it will. Um, what I wanted to point out though is uh, as you go through your 14 day free trial, uh, you'll see how, much, how many days you have left on your um, free trial before you need to, to sign up. For those of you that are already in your free trial and following this tutorial, I want to show you how you can get your coupon code applied um, so you can uh, save 20% uh, on your account as well. So if you're already in the free trial, click on that link and then you're going to um, uh, pick whatever plan you want. Notice that the, um, the coupon code is already being applied. Um, because I know that this is uh, a business account for a year is three hundred dollars, so with the coupon it's two hundred and forty, so it saves you quite a bit of money on your first year, which is great. Um, real quick about these different accounts, um, I, uh, I what right now what's recommended is the power because it allows you to to customization. Um, so at the very least, I would recommend getting that. Portfolio is for anybody that wants to sell photos. Now this doesn't necessarily mean you have to be a pro photographer, a portrait or a wedding photographer. In fact, I started my um, photo career just by having um, um, the pro account with SmugMug that allowed me to sell prints and I, I was having people buy prints and that led to me having some cash flow to buy better lenses and buy better gear and all that stuff and eventually led to my photography business. So um, I highly recommend 
getting the portfolio account. One of the reasons why I like it is because um, it's quite easy to make enough money off of your prints just with even family, friends, or whoever visitors to your site to uh, to offset the costs of Smug Mug every year. Um, I've never, you know, had to dip into my own uh, family budget to pay for Smug Mug. My, my Smug Mug site kind of pays for itself in a way. And then business is uh, really fancy, and I um, that's the account that I have personally. Um, I really like probably the biggest feature that I like out of the um, the business account is the discount count coupon. So I do have of clients uh, with my part time photography business, and I love to offer them you know twenty or thirty or whatever percent discounts to um, as part of my package. I also do customized packaging. So when somebody's when photos are sent in the mail to somebody, it's like you know, it's got my business card and it's got my brand on it, which I think is really fun. So, um, so choose whatever's best for you. And then let's just say, you know, say you pick up the business one. Um, you'll notice that the coupon code wedding gig is automatically applied or no, it won't be. If you already have a free trial, this is where you want to make sure you type in wedding gig, W E D D I N G G I G and, uh, and apply. And then that's when the 20% off your first year comes in. So there you go. So I'm going to back out of this right now <clears throat> and we are going to go work on our site. So the first thing we want to do is get some of our own photos in our site. So we're going to go to organize site and we've got the sample gallery. I'd go ahead and delete that. We're not going to need it. We don't want it in there. So we'll delete that sample gallery. Under our root folder, we're going to create a, fold, a new folder called uh, client galleries and basically when I flip over to our um, our site uh, in Firefox our live site what I'm doing is I'm creating this um, folder right here called client galleries and the first couple of steps we're gonna do here is upload uh, create, a, create a few different galleries and upload some photos so on our site it's a uh, you know mimicking a, a portrait wedding photography site so I've got some clients that um, uh, photos with some clients that I'm going to use for my site and um, that's how we're going to get started and it's important we have uh, multiple galleries in our in our site through our tutorial because we're going to use the best photos of each gallery to populate our portfolio gallery as you can see here so here's our portfolio gallery so that's what we're doing right now Client galleries, um, meta description keywords, you can add information in here if you want for search engine optimization or whatever, but um, I'm not going to right now. It's not entirely um, necessary, but uh, something you want to look into later. And security and privacy, I think this is all fine as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And so here's our new folder. We want to get some galleries in here, okay? so we can just go create so make sure you clicked on client galleries and then go create gallery and the first one we're going to do is Amy and David so obviously this is where you would upload your own gallery and your own photos and it doesn't have to be portrait and, and wedding clients it can be landscapes or pets or animals or flowers or whatever you want however whatever kind of photography you've got it, it that that part doesn't matter I'm just um I'm just happen just so happens I'm using a portrait slash wedding photographer photography business as my demo so the tutorial works either way uh, feature image we'll set that later custom URL that's fine security and privacy um, inherent which means it's public password sometimes clients want passwords sometimes they don't for our tutorial I'm just gonna leave that off for now but it's nice that it's an option web searchable yes uh, smug mug searchable yeah external embedding um, yeah this allows people to like post th post photos on Facebook and stuff maximum display size uh, I like that as x3 large if you put it as original um, it's kind of a you know security issue. Some some people can find ways to download your originally you know large files. X3 large is big enough for any monitor that's going to be able to um, view these files. Right click protection. I turn that on for sure. And basically, I'll show you what that looks like um, on our main site. So if somebody sees this photo and they want to download it, um, and so they right click on it, 
It says these photos are copyrighted by their respective owners, all rights reserved, unauthorized use prohibited. So this this kind of is added protection for, for me to make sure people don't download it. And sure, yeah, if someone can do a screen grab and stuff, but um, that's where water watermarking comes into play for some people. Um, for me, I don't um, I don't watermark, um, but that's an option for sure. Um, other stuff doesn't really matter. As for social, we never want people to share um, the photos and like them and comment them, so we'll leave that on. Shopping, we definitely want people to our clients to buy photos and, and clients, you know, parents of clients and siblings of clients and friends of clients to all buy photos, so we'll leave that on. Proof delay. Um, I set this as <clears throat> one day, and basically what that does is when somebody um, goes to order some prints, an email is automatically sent to me that tells me somebody's trying to buy prints, and it gives me a day, it gives me 24 hours to go in and make sure that they've cropped them correctly and that the images are really looking their best. Um, I have a chance to uh, replace, you know, go edit it in Lightroom and then replace the photo if I think um, I could have done a better job um, editing it or whatever. So. This gives me a time to make sure that um, what somebody's ordering is going to look really good when it's delivered to their door. So I always leave the proof delay on for a day. Boutique patching, packaging, personal delivery, and brand packaging, those are um, for the, the business accounts. Um, those are some of the fancy things that uh, business uh, owners like to do. I, I love some of them, like brand packaging is, is really neat. Um, boutique packaging is, is good too personal delivery I guess so that what that would be is that when somebody orders photos the photos are not sent directly to the client but they would be sent to you and then you would hand deliver them to the client which is kind of a nice touch for sure um, back printing um, I'd go ahead and add something like your site um, name um, what do we got Clark Kent photography smugmug.com so add your site name so that when a, a print is ordered on the back of it is your website um, so that if, if it you know if your print happens to travel around people can find out who took it and um, get more from you so that's good appearance we're gonna leave this as designs default and basically there's a bunch of different ways to uh, display your photos in your gallery um, our default is gonna end up being smug mug so I would just go ahead and leave that there Square thumbnails, we'll leave that on, looks good. Sort by, we'll sort by date taken um, by sending to make sure that the photos go by chronological order, which is always good, especially for weddings. Show camera info, I'm gonna turn that off because um, basically what that does is like, you know, show somebody what your ISO settings were and all that stuff, and I don't think that uh, most, most people that are viewing your photos are gonna really care. Um, so in the name of keeping our, our um, site really nice and clean, I'm gonna turn that off. Show file names, let me keep that off as well. Smart rules doesn't apply to this gallery. Sharpening, we can just leave the default. And then quick settings. So it's really important at the end of all this that we've gone through all that, um, that we define and save um, all these settings as a quick setting so that when we upload future client galleries, which we'll do at the next step, um, <clears throat> we'll be able to not have to go through that whole process, but just come down to here and uh, click the quick settings. So I'm gonna save this as client settings and uh, press enter. I guess I didn't have to press enter, but as soon as I click create, that'll become an option for later on. So click create. Okay, so we got our Amy and David gallery, but there's no photos in there. So click into it and click the update, upload photos, sorry. And then go find them in your browser, um, on your computer, sorry. And just highlight all of them. I, I use them. Um, uh, command A, oops, Command A to select all of them, and then just drag and drop. And it's going to take a little while to upload your photos, um, so grab a coffee and and chill out. I'm going to just um, kind of jump forward in time and and come back and uh, finish this when the photos are complete, so there's not a bunch of awkward silence. All right, we'll see you in a second. Okay, so my uploads are just finishing here, and when they're all done. You can go, I'm done uploading. So there we go. We have our first gallery um, full of photos, which is great. Uh, that's the end of this step. In the next step, we're going to kind of rinse and repeat. We're going to upload uh, more uh, client galleries. And then we are also going to be creating our portfolio gallery. So that's up next.